What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Scythe and I'm very excited to be able to make this quick video for you. It's a little bit late, it is, uh, a couple weeks ago, our Discord server turned two years old. That's crazy man, like seriously. I'm really grateful though guys, like seriously. The, uh, I don't know, I just said it seriously on a seriously, but the, the fact that we've had this Discord community for such a long time and it's been thriving for so long, like it's like, it, it really is awesome and it's so cool that we have the opportunity to be able to connect with each other as, you know, easily as this, you know? And it, it, it's like, it just makes me think back to a couple years ago, we were using Razor comms and that's where I met like Joe uh, you know, Crichton, and uh, I don't know if Stratos was involved with that, but I know Max was, uh, Merck, I think, was there as well, and it's like, it's funny to think that from Razor comms, you know, we kind of ended up moving over to Discord, and then it just, everything just exploded, like, way beyond it we could ever expect it to, and so we ended up introducing, like, uh, chat bots and stuff to monitor it and everything like that, and, well, I could just keep going on and on, but I wanted to talk to you guys about what's happened with the server because a lot of things have changed since the last video that I ended up putting out. Uh, I'll make sure to put this video in the description of my videos explaining our uh, server and how it all works because there is a leveling system involved to prevent people from trolling and griefing and stuff like that. I know it doesn't seem like it's a possibility, but on an online server where there's tons of people and we're trying to keep it family friendly, it is a possibility. But then on top of that, we got like a whole bunch of new really, really useful things uh, working in our server for all of you guys and gals. So uh, the welcome rules, first of all, is going to be the text chat up here. You guys can read through this uh, as you end up joining the server. But in short, it kind of has like the rules section where we kind of just explain, you know, it's a family friendly server, swearing's prohibited, don't spam, not safe for work content, obviously you can't have no impersonation of other people, you can't have pictures or bad usernames uh, of like, you know, mature adult stuff, obviously you'll get in trouble. Uh, but then also the ranking system. So we've actually got a few different ranks I threw in that are now vanity ranks. Uh, and, but then on top of that, there is uh, kind of a whole nerf to the rank system in general. So uh, how the rank system works is basically when you end up typing a message in the chat, you're going to end up gaining a, a random amount of XP anywhere between one and 25. And you're only going to end up gaining that XP once per minute. So this prevents uh, people from overly spamming. Uh, and, but then also on top of it, this is where spamming is, uh, you know, it's bad, you can end up getting in trouble if all you're doing is just typing once a minute to try and cheat the system so that you can get the levels. It's not really there for that. It's more importantly uh, there to not only, uh, you know, monitor the chat, but also to be a way that it kind of makes it more interactive and fun because at level two, you get access to the mic chat. You can listen, you can't speak. Level five, you get to actually speak in the mic chat. And then there's a couple vanity ranks at level 25, you can post links. Level 35, you will be able to post embedded links, meaning that you post a picture, it's gonna show up right there for everybody. That's why it's a more coveted rank because obviously people could just troll right away with some really nasty stuff. That said, if anyone ever would actually go out of the way of doing that, I mean, what a waste of time. They would just get banned right away, right? So anyways, then there's the channels kind of explained in a bit more detail, but I'll go through those myself in a minute here for you guys. Uh, and then even more text channels and junk like that. And then there's a quick little FAQ that kind of talks, uh, you know, more in the third person about myself and, you know, why am I not responding to everybody and uh, why I have, uh, you know, why people can't just randomly DM me because I have to have my friends, uh, like friend invites is turned off for me. I can add people, but I have to be the one that adds them first and then they can add me back. Uh, otherwise, I don't let random people just add me and talk to me because otherwise, like you can already see, like my list just, it just keeps getting longer and longer just from random side messages and stuff. And when I see that long of a list, I am like completely discouraged to end up reading through all the messages. It's just, it's just so much for me to manage on top of like YouTube comments and like everything else that I'm already doing. And I'm kind of in the general chat anyway. So. For announcements, this is an area where we can end up uh, announcing two different roles 
uh when there's like updates and stuff like that so you see trove right here we ended up posting about the luxian thing uh, and then there was see the overwatch and stuff like that now why you see the role here uh where we can add trove is so that we don't have to add everyone on the entire server because otherwise that could end up being pretty spammy and annoying for most people so we've got this role assignment area where you quite literally just click on these reactions then it will end up giving you that role and then we can end up tagging you in the announcements uh when we're actually like trying to tag like a specific game and stuff like that now if you end up joining the server and you start abusing that system and trying to add these roles uh, obviously you'll just end up getting a ban uh then there's games daily sales this is actually pretty cool because on top of it being a link to chrono.gg which has fantastic game deals they they have these deals that last for 24 hours uh, and they're actually really really good like i've even you know seen a couple games where it's like oh i'm actually really interested in that that's really cool you could buy this game super duper cheap now like even this one right now uh, as i'm recording this anyways exoplanet 40 percent off so you could buy the game for 12 bucks and it's it's a decent game i actually had a video on that but this is an affiliate link that I have with them, meaning that if you end up actually going through this and buying a game, uh, you know, during that limited time frame, or just buying anything from their website at any point through this link, I'll end up making a small percentage of it. So it's kind of like a way that you can just not only see these game deals going on, but it also ends up benefiting me in a small way as well. Then there's game patches. Now this is related to the game patch bot. The reason why this is a separate chat though is because the game patch bot only supports certain games for patches and stuff like you can see like fortnite and uh, arc and junk like that right it doesn't support everything so that's where like trove and junk uh, you know and overwatch aren't going to end up being there then there's the game dailies now this is actually a very very useful chat uh where it's going to end up kind of letting you know when the daily reset happened i guess i could set it so that it acts uh the roles maybe i don't know maybe that would get too spammy um but this way it's kind of like a quick easy way where we can tell oh okay uh trove chaos chest weekly reset uh maple stories daily reset and it's just so that you don't have to keep track of it all yourself you can just end up seeing it here then there's a stream notification only certain people are going to end up getting this role uh or getting the uh you know opportunity to end up actually doing this like we got atticus he streams very often and stuff uh and then you know if if it's a not a family friendly channel we put like a little asterisk and kind of give a warning towards it because obviously these are these are people that are separate from the discord they're within the community and it's kind of a way that we can kind of show our support and help each other you know and with it some some people are going to end up swearing it's like it's not something that we can monitor it's not like we're gonna say oh you can't be a streamer uh, you know you can't have your streams notified when uh if you're going to swear and stuff and it's like you know because then we also get to link to like warframe and uh, stuff like that then there's the youtube notifications which is self-explanatory pretty much the exact same thing so there you go i don't know why it says trove back like what why why does it say that uh but anyways and then there's the giveaway chat now this we don't really use this as often uh it used to be that we would uh use it for like giving away streamer dream boxes sometimes i'll give away game keys but not often it depends if i have extra uh and generally it's a fancy way that we can end up either just posting codes right away so that people can get notified uh or we can use a giveaway bot that kind of has a timer uh and can end up having people react to it and then it will end up randomly rolling winners and stuff which is uh, a pretty cool system in general then there's a the rank chat this is where you can end up checking your rank uh based on like your xp that you've grinded up and stuff like that so you can do explanation mark rank explanation mark levels and that'll let, let you know about all this stuff right and then there's gonna be the general chat self-explanatory then we've got the youtube sponsor chat so if you actually sponsor my youtube channel by hitting that join button down below you will end up gaining access to the sponsors only chat simultaneously if you end up subbing to me on twitch you'll end up getting access to the twitch chat so uh, those are the only ways that you can end up getting into those chats not to mention you're going to also end up getting the role and uh, when i said there, there was vanity uh roles that's because you pretty much just end up getting a different name color for all of the different ranks, right? So then there's gonna be the Trove chat, obviously focus on Trove. Uh, then there's gonna be the Trove Rampage chat. 
this chat has a, you know an extreme cooldown on people sending messages so it doesn't get spammed out and uh, is pretty much just so that if anybody's online and they see a rampage you just post a message in there trove trading i'm pretty sure you can only send a message every 20 minutes unfortunately we kind of have to have it that way otherwise it gets too spammy and people end up talking in there which is not something we want to discourage mind you but it's a trading chat so you post the items that you're selling and then somebody can end up dming you and there's no reason to end up spamming it out because people can just end up seeing it right then and there then there's maple story overwatch warframe warframe bot which is a chat that's used very very heavily by all you warframe crazies out there uh, to end up checking all these different it's pretty much like the bot itself is connected to the warframe wiki so it's really handy for that uh then there's 12 officers then there's an admin chat and so on and so forth right so i think that pretty much covers everything if i'm not mistaken i hope i didn't end up leaving anything out and uh yeah happy two years to the discord server man absolutely insane and really really just grateful for the opportunity you guys have given me to not only do like youtube full time but uh you know twitch is slowly getting there as well and more importantly to be a part of this community is just it, it really means a lot to me that you guys actually go the extra mile to you know actually be involved like i, I really really like discord because it's kind of a way that i get to respond to people right away rather than the youtube comment section where it's like I, you know i'm not gonna reply to a comment on a video that's like a couple years old or anything like that it's just it's just too much to try and manage all of that right so usually i'll end up reading comments on like a video for like a day or two after it's come out and then i just kind of gotta move on whereas with this i can end up getting direct feedback from you guys and just talk to you guys right away and it's been really really helpful for me uh, you know, just as a content creator to have that connection with you guys so that I can end up making better videos and doing the stuff that you guys like. And, you know, not to mention, I get to build up hype for things in here more so than I can just with a random community post on the YouTube channel and stuff like that. Right. Anyways, that's my two cents towards it. Thanks for watching guys and gals. There's going to be a link in the description and a link in every description to the discord server. So you guys can end up joining up and, uh, yeah, we'd love to have you. Heads up though, sometimes the chat can be very sarcastic because that's the kind of humor that we all kind of like. It's not it's not bullying. Okay? It's not bullying if you come in. We 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 are against uh people bullying and being overly teasy uh teasing towards new people though. So if, if you ever have a problem, just let an admin, let a mod know. In any case, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Sanor, stay epic everybody.